Hey everybody, it's the American Orient Express and it's coming up right now on Eric's Trains. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be checking out the American Orient Express passenger cars that Lionel just released not too long ago. These were offered in Lionel's 2023 Volume 2 catalog, and they arrived in early March of this year, 2024. Now, in that catalog, Lionel offered eight American Orient Express passenger cars. So they did a beautiful full dome car with really cool tinted windows, a Station Sounds diner car, a two-pack that included another dome car, and then a four-pack with an observation car for the end of the train. Now, of course, as is the case with pretty much all scale passenger cars that Lionel is making these days, these cars were extremely expensive. If you got all eight cars as I did, the retail price for those would run you right at $2,250. Yeah, not cheap. Now, I didn't pay quite that much because I pre-ordered these through Legacy Station, and so I got you know a pre-order discount. So I didn't pay quite that much, but they were still very expensive. But on the other hand, they're also very beautiful beautiful and I'm really glad I got them. Now, I already unboxed them and I've been running them and working with them for the past few weeks and I'm very happy with these and I think you're going to agree that these are absolutely gorgeous. Now, in case you're wondering, the American Orient Express was a real train. It was a luxury train that operated in charter service between 1994 and 2008 although it really traces its origins to the American European Express, which was a train that started operation in 1989. It was operated under contract with Amtrak and used Amtrak locomotives and crews. And also in case you're wondering, the American Orient Express had no relation whatsoever to the real Orient Express that operated over in Europe. This was just a really cool idea that they decided to do here in the States. Now I've looked at pictures of the real American Orient Express and compared them to the one that Lionel made. And I think Lionel Lionel did a pretty good job overall. The blue that Lionel used is pretty close to the real thing. And that's saying a lot for Lionel these days, because as you know, they sometimes have issues with blues and greens. And so they got it pretty close, close enough in my opinion. And so, like I said, these things look absolutely great. Now you'll notice that in the catalog, it wasn't offered with any sort of locomotive. And that's because it was pulled by Amtrak locomotives. And most of the time it was pulled by the Amtrak Genesis. And so today I'm gonna to be pulling this with my MTH and Atlas Genesis locomotives, but you could also pull this with other Amtrak locomotives like an F40PH or something like that. I haven't heard any word as to whether Lionel will eventually produce a locomotive to go with this, but like I said, they really don't have to because you can basically pull it with any Amtrak locomotive that you want. Although in my opinion, it would be really cool if Lionel made some sort of fantasy paint scheme steam locomotive to go with the set. That would be so incredible. Anyway, what we're going to do now is take a quick look at the cars in the set and then we'll take it for a spin around the layout. All right, so the American Orient Express passenger cars here were made using Lionel's 21 inch passenger cars that they've been making for many years now. They're tried and true. They work great in my opinion. They don't come with passengers on the inside, but it's very easy to add them on your own. And that's exactly what I've done with most of these cars. All you have to do is pop out four screws and you're in. You glue the passengers in place and you reassemble it easy peasy. It takes about maybe 30 minutes per car. And that includes the time of super gluing all the little figures inside. I made a video a few years ago about how to add passengers to these cars. So if you want to find out more, you can watch that video. I'll put a link to it in this video. Now these cars have the kinematic couplers that adjust as the train goes around curves to get closer coupling and straightaways. And then they pull apart a little bit in the curves. They also have really nice diaphragms on the end with opening doors, beautiful windows. I mean, just all in all, these are great passenger cars. So first up, we have the Monte Carlo sleeping car. Looks great. You might hear some sounds coming from the sound car as I roll these, cause I've got them powered up so you can see the lighting. Then we have the Seattle club car. This thing's gorgeous. And I really like the Orient Express seal that they have on each car. That looks great. Then we've got another sleeping car. This is the Washington. And the interiors of these cars are pretty nicely detailed. They're not painted or anything like that, but you've got chairs and tables and toilets and stuff like that. They're very nice. All right, then we've got this really cool full dome car with the tinted windows. I think this thing looks amazing. This one is named the Copper Canyon, and this is probably overall my favorite car in the set. Moving on, here comes the noise. This is the Station Sounds Diner car. 
The name on the car is Zurich. They've got the sound system on this side of the car and then the passengers over here. All right, moving on. We have another dome car. This is the Glacier Park. You can see I've added people up here in the dome and down below. Now I've never shown this before, but on these dome cars, including the full dome car, all you have to do is pop the dome off like this and then add your figures and then carefully put the dome back in place. All right, moving on, we have another sleeping car. This one is known as the Vienna. And then at the end of the train, we've got the observation car, which is named New York. And this is another beautiful car. Probably after the full dome car, this is my second favorite car in the set, just because of the end and the drum head on the back. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I really like the antennas up on top.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're in the second seating, follow me to the dining car. Ladies and gentlemen, the dining car is closed, but light refreshments are now available in the lounge car. All right, so there you have it, the Lionel American Orient Express passenger cars. I hope by this point you agree with me that these things are absolutely incredible and amazingly beautiful. Now, again, if you want to get these, they are pretty pricey. The retail price for all eight cars is right around $2,250. You don't have to get all eight. They come in a four-pack, a two-pack, and then two single cars. So you can mix and match if you want to save a little bit of money. But either way you slice it, they are very expensive. But keep in mind that those are the retail prices. If you go through a good Lionel dealer, you should be able to get a decent discount off those retail prices. And as always, if you're looking for a good Lionel dealer, try my favorite train store, which is Legacy Station. You can find them on the web at LegacyStation.com or give them a call at 770-339-7780. If you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon at Patreon.com slash Eric's Trains. Patreon supporters get access to all sorts of perks and benefits, and you can read about those benefits on my Patreon page. I'd like to put a huge thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world, not only to me, but to the future of this channel. And an extra super mega thank you goes out to my premium tier Patreon supporters. You'll see their names at the end of this video. And finally, if you'd like to pick up some Eric's Trains merchandise, you know, t-shirts, coffee mugs, pint glasses, phone cases, stuff like that, check out the Eric's Trains online store at ericstrains.com slash store. So that's going to do it for now. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.
discuss this model and any other O-Gage trains, check out the O-Gage Railroading online forum at ogrforum.ogagerr.com.